what led me into video was the fact that Canon came out with a camera that had a little button and you could turn it this way and it said video. <laughs> One of my clients, Greenland Tourism, have sent me to Greenland several times before to do still pictures. And this specific time, they were going to send me up again, um, but they were going to send me together with the film crew. And um, I convinced them that I could do the job, so they shouldn't send the video crew, they should just send me, and I'll get an extra assistant to carry a little bit more gear. The whole thing about composition and light and movement and people and telling stories, it's already, it was already there in my blood, really. I just had to figure out what to film before and what to film after. I'm used to finding the moment, just had to find a little bit before and a little bit after. I didn't find it difficult, uh, maybe because I didn't know how difficult it was, it didn't scare me off. So I just dove into it uh, head first and it was a success. Photographing in extreme cold, that's difficult. The pain of the cold just sucks all your creativity and all your concentration out of you. So it's just, just to focus on your idea is almost impossible. Um, it's uh, hard on the gear. Your batteries last like about 10% of the time. I don't know, but they don't last very long. One time I remember I had, uh, I had these, I've got these big mittens on, you know, I've got uh, woolen gloves on them and then I've got these other mittens on underneath uh, and then I've got a big one on here. So to work, I have to take a couple of these layers off and underneath I've got wool gloves. But unfortunately, um, my wool gloves had a little hole in it. I was opening my tripod up, but this piece of skin on my, on my bare finger touched the tripod and stuck to the tripod. And um, so I'm out there, I, I didn't want to rip my finger off because uh, the skin would stay on my tripod, so I had to do something. But luckily, we had a lot of warm tea. But unluckily, we drank all the tea. But luckily, you know what happens when you drink a lot of tea and you're cold? Yeah, so I can leave the rest up to your imagination. Since I was a kid, I grew up in the country in Australia, and since I was a kid, I've, um, I've experienced this presence. I guess you could call it like a radio station. If you're in the cities, like, good morning, everybody. <laughs> the channels are changing all the time. When you get outside into the nature, there's only one channel, same channel every day, 24 hours a day. <laughs> and that is what attracts me. I'd much rather be out there working than anywhere inside. This connection uh, with people and nature, I think is extremely important. And uh, I, I, I focus a lot on that connection in my work. I think uh, I try to, through my images, inspire people to want to go out into nature because I think when we get out into nature we can feel it ourselves. The more people that have a connection with the earth and uh, respect it and love it, the more people won't want to hurt it, won't want to destroy it and will want to protect it as well. <laughs>